The Zumwalt class destroyer was originally supposed to be the cool new kid on the block for the US Navy. Back in the hopeful days after the Cold War, the idea was to build a ship that could sneak up close to a coastline and provide serious backup for troops on the ground. It had a weird, inward-sloping hull for extra stealth, and an engine that could basically power a whole city. It carried two massive 155mm guns that were meant to hit targets 80 miles away. On paper, it was a total game-changer. So, why did the fleet shrink from 32 ships to just three? It mostly came down to a massive budget ouch. The Navy packed too many unproven technologies into one ship, causing the price per vessel to hit a staggering $7.5 billion. These cost overruns triggered legal alarms in Congress, leading to a slashed order that created a downward spiral for the ship's most vital feature, its ammunition. The real whoops moment was the cancellation of the LR lap shells, the fancy GPS-guided rockets designed for the Zumwalt's unique guns. With only three ships being built, the price for a single shell skyrocketed to $800,000, nearly the cost of a cruise missile. Since spending that much on one bullet made no sense, the Navy canceled the ammo in 2016, leaving the ships with massive guns that can't fire. Strategic shifts also played a role. The Zumwalt was built for a world where the US dominated the coasts, but global competition soon shifted back to blue water battles in the deep ocean. Lacking top-tier air defense radar and carrying fewer missiles than cheaper ships, the Zumwalt became a specialized tool for a war nobody was planning to fight anymore. However, the Zumwalt is getting a major makeover. The Navy is repurposing these 16,000-ton stealthy hulls by replacing the unusable guns with tubes for hypersonic missiles. This transformation turns the ships into the ultimate hidden assassins of the Pacific. While they didn't become the fleet's backbone, they are finally finding their groove as a high-tech strike force. <laughs>